Hello there, my name is Peaked Fire, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Uh, in the last time, uh, last episode, we were told by Miguelo to go out to the Esther Saints to try and beat the mark that's um, out here. It's a potato-looking thing. Uh, this time, I was, well, the last time also, I was stuck with choosing which class we want to be, because this is new. Uh, I've only played the first version of this uh, Final Fantasy XII, which is just... The regular one they didn't have this whole um, the different uh, classes here so after thinking about it I have decided to make Vaughn's class to be a shikari uh, shikaris have daggers which he already has and so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose that which is gonna make it simple for me also it's 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 a it's planned I, I have already decided which ones I want to use um, there we go so we have that. I need to at least get this because they just gave, they gave us the or Orakea, or is it Orakea? Orakea armlet. So we're gonna be using that. Uh, I mean, as you can see, every time um you need uh there's life um there's license points on the top left, and your class and it tells you how many you have, and each panel has a different amount of uh, cost for LP, and so we're gonna unlock those slowly. These are the ones that I want. Uh, the little um passive up to, uh, upgrades um, and also the weapons when they come uh, to in, in time um, so anyway we're, we'll, we'll keep um, getting uh, license points from enemies um, for now we're gonna go ahead and go over here I did miss a couple things yes if you played this before I apologize if you saw that I had missed the chance to get something earlier and that's fine it's okay it's just it's just money uh, we're gonna go ahead and here I really like these intros. <laughs> Look at that! I love the intros to every single uh, area that you visit. It's a, this is the Dalmasca Esther Sand. So Dalmasca is surrounded by uh, by desert, um, and so this kind of looks like the other sides of Dalmasca. But here, um, we're, I, I mean, you've already seen the battle system here. Oh, why did he slow down? That's weird. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, kill this cactite right here. Uh, it's passive because the HP bar was green. Um, so it's, it's, okay, let me try and kite it. Can we get it? Yeah, no, he, his attack was faster, okay. Uh, so as you can see, we got the experience point and the LP. I'm gonna go ahead and fight a couple of these for a second. Um, uh, for a little bit, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go fight them now. Oh, the, oh, they team up. Okay, that's not good. Uh, and get some more experience points and all that. I'm gonna level up my character for a little bit, just because I'm kind of worried about that, uh, mark. So I will be right back. Yeah, so I fought about uh, the monsters around here just to level up, and I am now at level two. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try to fight this um, um, the rogue tomato right here. Uh, it, technically, I think they're called all Ron um, type of enemies. Uh, let me try and steal something. Let's use the techniques. Techniques don't cost anything uh, unless specifically they they say that they cost something. Uh, so I'm gonna try and there we go. We got we got. Oh no, we killed it. Oh no, never mind, it's trying to escape. Yep, it's gonna jump. It's really cute. <laughs> so we gotta go back down there, and there's a lot more enemies down there. I mean, I cleared up uh, a couple of uh, the wolves, and that's fine. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad when we uh, fight them. We'll try to avoid. Oh, uh, like, yeah, let's kill the, the little thing first. And there is another wolf nearby. Um, I just wanna avoid it. Let me see. Okay, good, good, good. I'm trying to lure him this way. Oh, there's another wolf right here. Okay, as long as... Oh, okay, it's dead. <laughs> I keep underestimating myself. It's fine. Uh, Vaughn has a very... Like, he, he combos pretty quick, uh, pretty often. Uh, some people do... Some characters do that. Some don't. Galbana lilies? Never thought I'd see him growing out here. This will make a nice souvenir. Time to call it a day. You know, it's weird. I remember that fight being a lot harder than than that. Uh, we're gonna go and let's go kill some of these more uh, these wolves. Uh, let's see what we can do. 
I do want to keep getting their loot. Uh, it's nice to get loot. It's nice to get um, items you can sell. Uh, and I just really need experience. I really should explain uh, uh, chaining to you guys. Chaining means that you're fighting the same type of monster over and over again. Like uh, right now, I saw the two chain right there. <laughs> two chain um, at the bottom of my screen. The more um, enemies that you, of the same type that you fight, the uh, higher your chain becomes. Eventually, the chain uh, uh, ha gives you benefits and boosts, uh, and that way uh, you, you earn more items, more more of everything, basically. Uh, rare items show up more often. Some items uh, show up uh, in higher frequency or higher amounts. Uh, so it's it's nice to chain, and uh, you also get uh, you get healed and all that. There's so, so many different buffs. Depending on the amount of um, same enemies you can fight. Uh, right now, it's just it's just it's, they're just wolves. They'll give you more pelts and all that. But um, I am dying though, so let's go ahead and use one of the potions here. Uh, there we go. Keep fighting. Uh, uh, let me see if I'm gonna try and see if I can uh, chain. And let, it probably won't change, but it's still nice to get uh, a bit more experience. Yeah. Oh, I gotta, I gotta keep uh, giving him the order. Uh, I don't have the gambits yet. Uh, there we go. Oh, he had two, he got two hits on me. Come on, come on, kill it. I had to, had to get them. Um, really, I should try to steal, but um, they're doing too much damage to me that um, that I really don't want to keep. Oh, there we go. The chain level increased uh, at seven. Let me go and fight another wolf, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, when they drop something, uh, I need to. Okay, I thought I thought I healed the the wolf. Okay, okay, maybe I should have should have waited there. Right. Kill it. There we go. Stab it with your knife. Hey, that was that was two hits. See, it changed now because I, um we we leveled up our chain, um, and now more things are coming. Uh, see, we got a couple more windstones, um, and we should be. Uh, let me see what else comes up. I don't think he might have that one. That's not fair. Uh, let me see if I can find another wolf. Uh, there's, there's, a, <laughs> there's a little cute cactus. Is there? Okay, we're going to fight this last one right here. Uh, be, we got to be careful because this guy, that that Tyrannosaurus Rex. Is, oh, okay, they're going to fight each other. Oh, they're going to fight each other. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay. Okay, are they going to... Oh, no, it ate it. <laughs> he saved me. He saved me. Okay, well, we're gonna just ignore that that happened. Um, let me look for a wolf. Hang on. Found one. Okay, let's see if it, he drops anything fun. There we go. And then that's one more hit. Nice. See, um, it does. It looks a little bigger. The icon changed, so we got a potion. It's pretty good. Uh, oh, you can. I guess you can chain these um, little cactuses here too. Um, let me go ahead and get this item. It's an antidote. Okay. Uh, I think you can you can always go grab um, the, the treasures this time around. I think I told you that um, in the past you weren't able to because uh, some of the treasure chests are uh, require are not required that you don't touch them or you'll ruin your chance of getting an item at the end. It's a really strong item. Uh, let me go ahead and save here. Before we go anywhere, let's go ahead and check our licenses. We've got 23 uh, points here. I uh, really want that. Um, it would be nice to also get Libra. Just so we can get um, items. And also first aid. Oh no, really. It's, I guess I guess that's kind of useful. Especially when you don't have healing items. But um, I do want to get Martyr eventually. As, um, although I really don't need it because I'm a Shikari. I don't have any magic at the moment. But that's fine. We'll keep saving it up. Let's see what we can do here. We go here. Um, do I have to talk to everyone? Oh, it's Kites! As soon as I stepped out, the guards closed the gates and things got crazy. I haven't been able to find her since. Now what? Huh? Open the gate! Alright, out the way. Wait a second. How come you let these chocobos through the gate and not us? What of it? This here's a pedigreed parader, boy. 
Cost tens of thousands of gil, this one did. A prettier price than a hundred of you provincials would fetch. <sighs> Keep your distance. We don't want the chocobo stick of the peasant. <laughs> What'd you say? Step aside. <sighs> right then, move them in. Well. <sighs> that does it. Ho, ho, ho. A fine, fine chocobo you have there. Yes, uh, see the down stock, if I'm not mistaken. Change the soil, change the chocobo, am I right? Yes, yes, different soil means different bouquet, too. Take a down mask in the rose wine. It may lack the flavor and depth of some of your Arcadian wines, but it has a certain strength of character. <laughs> it's not bad, really, once you get used to it. Care for some, sirs? There's more than enough for all to cool their throats, of course. You let these carts through them and close this gate is ordered. The males choke with this sand. Don't give me a scare like that. <laughs> You're lucky that ended where it did. Right. Now's our chance to go through. Ah, the ceremony will be starting soon. I'd best be hurrying. Okay, well... <sighs> Fawn, wait! What is it? Fawn! We will have order. I give you your new consul, His Imperial Highness Lord Vane Solidor, Commandant of the Arcadian Empire's Western Arm... Your Excellency. People of Rabanaster, is it with hatred you look upon your consul? With hatred you look upon the Empire! Spit on your Spit back to Arcadia! There was little point in asking. But know this. I harbor no idle hopes of frustrating that hatred. Nor shall I ask your fealty. That is the due of your fallen king, and rightly so. King Ramanas loved his people strove to bring you peace. His was a rule worthy of your devotion. Even now, he remains among you, protecting you. His ardor for the peace and will of Dalmasca falters not. I would ask only that you do your king honor. Together, let us embrace the peace His Majesty would surely desire. Two years now divide us from war's bitter end, yet still its shadow looms over all, stifling the infant peace, a pall only you may cast off. Achieve but this one thing, and your hatred of me and of the Empire will grieve me not. I will stand fast. I will endure your hatred, suffer your slings and arrows. I will defend Dalmasca. Here I will pay my debt. I swear it now. Though King Ramanas and Lady Ash be gone, they stand ever at the side of their people. In honoring peace, you do honor to their memory and to Dalmasca. What I ask, I ask plain. My hopes now rest with you.
Is Rabanaster to your liking, my lord? It is magnificent. Take this cathedral, for instance. Elegant, yet whimsical in its execution. A stunning example of Galtean architecture. I hope Lord Gramus might one day look upon it himself. The patron of this evening's banquet, may it please your excellency. I am the gallo, your highness. Uh, it is truly a profound honor to uh, make the acquaintance of our uh, the future emperor, highness. <laughs> the people of Rabinasta join me in welcoming That's you. That's enough of highness. Though indeed I am our emperor's son, I am no prince. Arcadia's emperor is freely chosen by her people. I am but an elected official and nothing more. I... I meant no disrespect. Now that I think on it, I would not have you address me as Lord Consul, for that matter. No? Henceforth, I am a citizen of Rabanaster. Why don't you call me vain? I could not. That would not be right. You are overly fond of formalities. I have just the remedy for that. Tonight you will join me, and we shall drink until you call me by name. <laughs> How can he stand to bow to him like that? Fawn, you just do not get it, do you? He's not doing it because he wants to. You know what would happen if he didn't. I know, it's just... So, what would you do different? I don't know. Well... I'd do something. Vaughn. Vaughn! You haven't heard a single word I've said, have you? This place has changed so much. It's like it's not even Rabanaster anymore. Like the Empire is swallowing it whole. Hey, Penel, That fate tonight. You think they'll let us in? Are you crazy? It's in the palace, and we don't have an invitation, if you hadn't noticed. So, how are we getting in? As if I'd know. Why not ask Magello to get you in? Or go see old Dallin in Lowtown? Why the sudden interest, Vaughn? I told you. I'm going to take back what's ours. Give back to Dalmasca. Come on. What do you think? If I find something, and it fetches a good price, how about I, uh, I buy you all dinner? Oh, please. You know as well as I do the first thing you'd buy is an airship. All hail Vaughn, Sky Pirate of Damasca. It's got a nice ring to it. Stay out of trouble. Hmm. An airship. I don't know. Maybe. But not through Magello. Time to pay old Dallin a visit. We are now free. We are now free to enter Lowtown and leave Rabanaster. Yay! I forgot that these cutscenes are really, really long. Okay, so there are a couple things before, that I want to do before we go to uh, the next part in Lowtown. As you can see, we just got to go through there. All right, so here's the map of Rabanaster. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of shops on the right side right here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, some of these things are still here. Um, they're left over from uh, Final Fantasy XII. They haven't fixed. Well, they probably didn't fix or change in the, uh, in this the Zodiac Age. So one of those things is the monographs. Monographs are items that help you uh, that help uh, with item drops when you're fighting enemies. So to get that, mostly I think you still have to talk to people um, or shops. Uh, let me go ahead and try and do this here. I'll show you. I'll, I'll get back to you when it shows up, okay? Okay, there we go. Finally, it will show us. Um, so after I talked to the magic lady, um, 24 uh, magic 
sales person lady. Twenty five times. We got something from the bazaar. Uh, it's a forgotten grimoire. Uh, well, when we get it, it becomes. Uh, I think it's called a mage's monograph. Uh, it helps us. Uh, it drops from I think uh, from fiend types. It increases the drops uh, from fiend type enemies. Um, there's something really here. Let me go to the next one. Okay, finally, a, uh, the next one was about about 15 times, I do believe. It's going to be, uh, if you talk to the armor, the armor, uh, any armor salesman, you, you're going to get the Scholar's Monograph. Uh, I do believe it's the 22,000 one. There's the next one. Uh, I do believe this is the uh, mon a Knight's Monograph. It increases the, it's the 92,000 one. Increases the drops from giant and insect type monsters. Uh, let me go to, I think, the next one is going to be, yeah, I think it's just 100 times. Okay, I gotta talk to them 100 times after this, okay? I'll be right back. And there's the next one. It's going to be the 25,000 one, uh, 1,000 gil one. I think that's, let me see, I think that's called, I say just monograph. It includes uh, the drops from elemental types that are just floating around in the area. Uh, that's it for... Shops, I do believe. Uh, I think there's a couple more. We're, we still have to talk to a lot of things. Just one second. If you go back to the sand sea, we're gonna go talk to the board. And it doesn't really. Oh, well, I'm gonna grab it anyway. Okay, so. Uh, we have to go into. Oh, the person's right here too. So it's fine. We'll just talk to that. We'll talk to that later, but we'll just keep talking to this one until. Okay, I think that was 50 times. Let me go over here. I don't think it's 50 times. Uh, you get two when you speak to the mission, um, the notice board, up to 40 to 50 times. I just wanted to double check. If you talk to one of the shopkeepers now, it should say that there's new bazaar goods that are available. And it's going to be the, uh, is it the 20, 20,000 and the 22,000. There's a couple of 22,000s. So these are the War Mage and the Dragoons monograph, which increases the, um, Draws from Undead, I do believe, and the Dragon for the Dragoon one. Yep. So we have the monographs now. Why am I trying to get those now when I don't have money? Well, I mean, chances are you're not going to keep talking to them um, like that until the end. Like, not really the end of the game, but mid-game or late game. So I just want to get that out of the way just in case I do have extra money uh, and think that I can go ahead and waste it on on that. So, yeah, those are available when we are ready now. Um, I think I have to talk to someone here. I'm... Um, it's whoever whoever has a name. Okay, I own a shop over in the bazaar, but some but times have been tough. So I put in an order for some new goods, hoping to see some business. Put up everything I own in the collateral against the shipment. Trouble is, this beastie in the Western Sands has been attacking the caravans. As it happens, my goods are supposed to be arriving by way of the Western Sand too. If this extra were to attack, what of my goods? Except, uh, please, you must kill the extra for me. Accept the hunt, and I'll tell you where to find it. Of course I'm going to say yes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. It's in Galtea Downs in the Western Sand. Uh, we're not going to fight that yet. It's, I remember this being really difficult with just one person. So we're going to wait until we find uh, more people. Uh, for now, we're going to hold on to that. Well, maybe maybe I'll level up and try and see if I can take it on my own. Where am I going? Uh, where's Dallin? Not Dallin, the barkeep. Oh, there's so much. There we go. So we did kill the rogue tomato, so we're gonna. Uh, if you finish your, your hunt, you go back to the person that you got the hunt from, and they'll give you things like money and potions and teleport stones. I'll talk about teleport stones later, or actually, just uh, in just a few minutes. Actually, you follow through on that hunt like a real professional. I'm gonna let you in on a little, some, a little something to help you along. Did you ever notice a banga standing watch in front of the building in the north end? It might be worth your time to pay him a visit. Uh, we should do that. Show him the clan primer I gave you. He'll let you inside. As for what's there, you'll just have to go see for yourself. Uh, let's... Let's do that, actually. That might be fun. Okay, the, uh, he said over here. It's much little bit. Come over here. There's mangas here. We can just ignore them. Can we just go in? Okay, I have to talk to the manga. Ah, you got your primer, so have you? So you have. Well, what are you standing there out, out here for? In with ya. Can't quite recall your face. Are you new? Might want to pay special heed to what the folks inside had to say. So are you going in or not? Uh, let me in, please.
So we are in the clan hall here. Uh, this little moogle up here. If you've played Final Fantasy uh, Advanced, Tactics Advanced, uh, this guy is going to be familiar. Kupopo, yours is a new face. Are you a hunter? Welcome to our clan hall. I'm Montblanc, founder of Clan Centurio. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Kupopo. Our clan has a very strict entrance examination. You should begin yours at once. And you pass! Yay! We are not part of Clan Centurio. That was, we passed with flying colors. Here in the clan hall, you'll hear about specially dangerous marks you won't find posted on the boards. And the moment you they rear their ugly heads. Well, I'll get on with filing the necessary clan membership certificates. I'll be finished in no time flat. Kupo? Kupo, I never forgot. Now that you're a member, you can make purchases from our clan shop in the Muthu Bazaar. Make sure to stop by, Kupo. Happy hunting. Okay, so there is a lot of hunts that they are going to provide in the future, but right now we can just ignore that. Uh, most of the hunts are kind of difficult. Okay, so I went back around um, to the main spot, uh, to the entrance of this lot, basically the, uh, the middle spot here in the um, in Rabbanaster. Because so I want to go down here. Let's see if I can actually go into that. See that little orange crystal down there? I want to see that. So here we are. Uh, this is a Rabbanasser crystal. Well, it's, a, it's basically a city crystal or um, a teleport crystal. Uh, when they're this kind of color, as you can see, it's, it allows you to teleport to different spots as long as you have a teleport stone, like the one that we got earlier from the mission. So as long as you have a teleport, teleport stone, you can go anywhere you want, and it's it's uh, basically fast travel. Um, I do believe if you press L1 though, it speeds up the game. This is a big game. Speeding it up like this will make things so much easier for you, okay? Uh, you just press L1 again and you'll be able to uh, reset it back. So let's go ahead and go to... Actually, I really want to level up, but just one second. Okay, so I'm back in the armor shop here. I'm going to go ahead and sell uh, all the loot that I got from fighting all the enemies. Um, it's, got, it's over here. So I'm going to sell... Let me see. I'm going to sell... Four of those. I'm just at least have one of each for now. Um, get that. Wolf pelts over here. And then the cactus fruit. We need five of those. And then one more of the fire stones. Okay. So let's see what we got. We got any yeah, So every time you sell things, you get but new bazaar bazaar goods that will show up. Some of these are only available if you are if you sell certain kind of items, a certain amount of items. So it's usually good to have them ready. I mean, don't you can keep selling things, but always have at least ten. I think I think that's a safe number. Maybe up to fifteen. Uh, but for now, since we just started, we have a couple of these, so we can go ahead and buy these. Uh, usually, they're pretty like worth it. That's two potion packs. I think potions are fifty. Uh, two potions. I think it's fifty each. So that we got we got a discount on that. And assuming sir code, what is this? Uh, chrome letters. Okay, we actually need that for for Van, uh, Vaughn. Uh, we do need a headgear though for him. That's why I, I'm, I was over here um, because we have enough. So I did level up to level four from all that um, uh, training. Uh, let's go to the license board. Uh, we have the light, yeah, light armor two right here. Okay, we have enough. We need 15. We have 57. Awesome. Okay. Ooh, we have more daggers here. But yeah, that's pretty much all that we need for there in the. Um, licenses. So if we did forget to equip the Orakea arm um, earlier, so you got to get the license and then equip the item. Kind of like now. We're going to go here and get the headgear, increase our magic resist a little bit. Same thing here, increase our defense just a little bit. So that's really all I need. And we got the um, a lot of money, at least for this. Oh, you can get a lot more money if you really wanted to, but this is more than enough for me. I also got 10 potions just from fighting enemies in the area, so we are set to go. I, I think I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm okay with everything here. Okay, I'm at the magic shop right now. I'm gonna go ahead and buy two things. I'm gonna buy cure and fire. Uh, I can't use it yet. I don't think his license board has cure at least not at any like not recent uh, not in the near future yeah I don't think so yeah I don't think it's gonna happen I don't think he has a magic oh my god he doesn't have magic but that's fine um, but you know some some characters might need it so I'll have that ready 
just in case I forget it. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to forget it. Let's go ahead to Low Town. Low Town is well. There's a stairs heading here, well, over here to Low Town, and I think we should be able to go in now. Yes, we are. We're gonna go find our friend Dallin. Uh, that's actually a cool name, Old Man Dallin. Well, just the Dallin part. Okay, well, now we're we're now in Low Town. It's a sprawling maze right here too. Uh, there should be treasure chests in in here. You can go and loot, but we're gonna go down there to Dallin's place. There are also shopkeepers here. Uh, I, some of them, I think, some of them just sell items. I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna keep finding. Oh, well, we're not gonna go and uh, look at that. Look at the, at this moment. We're gonna go down to Dallin's place. Ooh, there's like a lot of people here. This way. Yep, we're right here. And I think in the original game, there's a. Treasure chest here that's in front of Dallin's house that you are not supposed to touch. You do not touch it. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> Echo herbs. Okay, we don't really need it. Um, it's secure silence. But anyway, let's go to Dallin's house. Or old Dallin's place. If it isn't Von Ratsbane, come for a tip on how to skewer something bigger and in armor by the East Gate? What? You already heard about that? Wise I may not be, but well informed I am. They'll get what's coming to them someday, believe me. But that's not why I'm here. Do tell. I want to know how to sneak into the palace. They've got to have some great stuff in there. Thought I'd partake. <laughs> Not one to mince words, are you, boy? The Empire protects all that's hers, and that means the palace and all the treasures inside. That's why I'm gonna do it. To take back what's ours. So, our champion of the sewers aspires to noble action. Admirable. Perhaps I can help you. Ah, now that I think on it, there was a rumor. Yes, a secret passageway into the palace walls, a door, and a magic stone that opens the way. That's it. This is exactly why I came to talk to you first, Alan. So, where's this, uh, magic stone? Uh, oh, I've had it for years, if I can remember where I've tucked it away. Okay, all I, all I've heard all I need. So this uh, crescent stone, can I have it? Then I can find that secret passage into the palace, right? Not much of a listener, are you? The crescent stone has lost its magic. So without the power of the sunstone, it will be of little use. Oh crap! I forgot about this. <laughs> right, so we're gonna get one of these sunstones. Oh my god! So you see Giza Plains? Speak with the nomads there. You will find your sunstone. So we are gonna go to uh, Giza Plains in the south. Uh, I mean, we were already there. We were outside. Um, well, basically near uh, near the the gates towards Giza Plains when we're in the southern part of the uh, Robin Astor. So I'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys there. Well, actually, there's a shortcut. Let's see, Giza Plains. Hang a right here, and I'm practically South Gate. It'll be easy. Yeah, so I I knew it. This is gonna be right here. Uh, there is a shortcut from uh, Low Town to South Gate, which is right here. See, someone well, I would have known that even without Bond telling me. Um, I think this is gonna be it though. Next time we're gonna go to Giza Plains down there, and we're gonna find this crescent stone that they're talking about. Okay, see you guys next time.